family what's good i be a mtc i don't even know why i'm doing this video but i done got kind of in the habit of commenting on donald trump and the shit he doing and how we are we are so royally fucked by this administration i don't know why i keep doing these videos but there it is kasim Soleimani. i had to say that shit first uh before i forget how to say it this uh big muckety muck <laughs> in Iran and um, that the United States uh, just uh, uh, assassinated in an uh, effort I'm sure to get some kind of shit started with Iran but didn't I tell y'all a long time ago that uh, the United States wanted its own war uh, with Iran I mean we he, he talked that shit about about uh, getting out of getting out of Afghanistan but it was only so he could move the troops over into Iraq so he could, you know, start some shit and get the big war going with Iran. Um, I also said a long time ago, a long fucking time ago, probably back in 17, uh, that there was never going to be no war with North Korea. Um, that's just wrong on so many different fucking levels, I mean. Anyway, we're going to continue doing our fucking military exercises and they're going to continue bitching about it. But the uh, North Koreans know better than to give up their fucking nuclear weapons because if they do, then uh, it's all over for, for that regime. But I digress from that. What I am saying is that the United States uh, Congress uh, and uh, the United States Congress is, is, is just as complicit in this, in this com perpetual war uh, perpetual war footing that the United States is on as the president is. I mean, there's only one motherfucking presidential candidate running right now with any hope in hell of winning that's voting against this perpetual wars, these wars and these big defense budgets. There's only one candidate uh, running against that shit. There's only one candidate voting against that shit when it come up, you know, for a vote. Um, and that's Bernie Sanders and everybody know that. That's why the military industrial complex and the big pharma and all the rest of them are fighting so hard to keep this man out of office. That's why they're fighting so hard to bring down this guy because he's the only one that really wants to change shit. You know what I mean? Um, but everybody else wants to keep it the same. Everybody else wants to keep this big military and keep this perpetual war state going on. Because they make they they act like they don't know any other way to run an economy. I said that before too. But they act like they don't want they don't know any other way to run an economy, unless you militar militarize the whole thing. You know what I mean? Every motherfucking district in the United States, every congressional district in the United States, has some kind of connection to the military. So nobody wants to cut that because they're afraid of the jobs that they'll lose. Well. Tens of thousands of people fucking die. That's it, man. That's in a nutshell. Now, now, um, Donald Trump coming to office talking that same old shit about getting us out, getting us out. Uh, it's time for it to be over. We've been at war for 19 years, blah, 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 blah. But at the end of the day, he do the same thing all the other motherfuckers do. You know what, though? As I think back on it, I don't remember a sane Republican pr uh, president yet. I don't remember a sane motherfucking Republican president yet. And I can remember, remember him all the way back to Nixon. I, I don't remember one of them motherfuckers that was worth a goddamn. From Nixon to Reagan to Bush to Bush Jr. to Donald fucking Trump. I don't remember none of them. Now, the Democrats, Democratic presidents, on the other hand, I mean, they kept the fucking wars going. They, they really did. And... Um, but they was, you know, more sneaky about it, I guess. And they, you know, put a little bit more money in the social programs. But they, but at least they weren't fucking evil and stupid and ignorant in the way that the Republicans were. They were stupid and evil in their own way, but not clinically so. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, think about Bill Clinton. Think about Barack Obama. Think about Jimmy Carter. Jimmy Carter was a really nice guy, real soft guy. You know what I mean? 
when he left office, it was time for him to leave office. I liked the guy, but I mean, he would let people run over him just to pursue peace. I mean, that was a perception anyway. It wasn't my perception, but that was a perception. And then Ronald Reagan came in with guns fucking blazing, and he was crazy. He wasn't nothing but a TV actor. Governor of California, yeah, but he was a TV actor. He come in, guns blazing, cut, 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 build up the military, kick ass, fuck everybody over, and it was all about big business, and that's, that's the way the country went. When that motherfucker left office after about seven years, he was fucking, had, had goddamn dementia, and he was a total fucking mess. Then the next uh, uh, motherfucker to come in, you know, after Ronald Reagan was George Bush, George H.W. Bush, and he was motherfucking caught lying, no, no new taxes, read my lips, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, he lasted one fucking term, but he got his war going. He got that fucking shit going in Iraq that's been going ever since. The first Iraq war was fought under George H.W. Bush. And then after that, we got uh, Bill Clinton. Now, Bill Clinton was a very intelligent man. He kept the fucking wars going, plus started some more. He, uh, uh, you know, he couldn't keep a dick in his pants, and he liked cocaine. But aside from that, he was a smart motherfucker. But, uh, the, you know, in the country, uh, the country's economy supposedly did really well under his administration. And after that motherfucker, after Bill Clinton, you know, we could have got motherfucker Al Gore, but Al Gore... You know, he, him and Bill behind the scenes didn't get along that well. Anyway, I digress from that. But after after Bill Clinton, you got motherfucking George, George W. Bush. You got W. And W. came along. He pretty much stole the fucking election from Al Gore. He, you know, he went to the fucking Supreme Court and they handed it to him. After that motherfucker, you got, after him, you got Malak Obama. And he was a fucking wolf in sheep's clothing. He came in on that hope and change bullshit. Well, wasn't no hope and there was very little change. He was just a standard corporate fucking Democrat, kept the wars going. And from that, you got Donald Trump. You got Donald Trump, and he's sitting there right now with his big orange self, acting like a true crazy ass nut job Republican. And he'll probably, well, there's a good chance that he may get reelected. I mean, there's a good chance he may get reelected. If he don't get reelected, then the motherfucking war cycle continues, and the planet may it may take a hundred years for the for for the planet to recover from another motherfucking Republican president. I say that again. It'll take a hundred years for the planet to recover from another motherfucking Republican president, and um, and uh, that's what's going to happen if if. Uh, Donald Trump gets uh, gets reelected. Now, Donald Trump, you know, I said it uh, before, at the end of six, six, seven years, Donald Trump gonna be a fucking mess. He gonna be a fucking mess. But he gonna be, he, gonna, he will have done enough fucking damage for it to last a good century, especially with the climate, uh, with climate uh, change. He will have done enough damage to us diplomatically and killed enough people and kept uh, the, the war state going so long and took, it'll take another hundred years for us to fully see the effects of Donald Trump gone. About a century. Four generations. Because it's going to take that long to rebuild motherfucking the, the, Mid, the Middle East back to, back to, you know, looking like something other than a bunch of bombed out buildings. It's going to take that long to get that shit back. Because if this war with Iraq, Iran go, you know, they're going to tear up a whole bunch of more shit. Syria already tore up. Iraq tore up. And now they want to try to tear up Iran and Yemen. And, you know, and Palestine is all tore up. You know what I mean? My dog down here. And um, so anyway, like I said, man, Donald Trump just pretty much got the goddamn... Uh, I don't want to use the term third world war, but I'm going to just say he continuing the motherfucking program just like it was. But he getting his big war going with Iran, with the assassination of one of their top military leaders. So we're going to see what happens. You know what I'm saying? And um, we're going to see what happens with this election. Because let me tell you something, he ain't really lose no motherfucking support behind that shit. He really didn't because these motherfucking bloodthirsty white boys that vote for Donald Trump, they like this kind of uh, hyper-militaristic motherfucking behavior from their leaders. Uh, but uh, 
we're going to see what happens uh, during this election. If he gets elected, though, just look for just look for um, four more years of that and a long motherfucking recovery uh, period to where we can get the world to something we, we, we recognize again. If he don't get reelected and it's and it's and it's anybody except Bernie Sanders, well, we're going to get the same motherfucking shit with some tweaks here and there to allow for climate change and the wars might get scaled back a little bit, might. I say might get scaled back a little bit. But ain't nobody other than motherfucking Bernie Sanders going to really change the paradigm if he stick by what he says. And, and now I got to touch on this before I go. If Bernie Sanders don't talk to black people directly and promise us tangibles, like other people get tangibles for their vote, well then, y'all better brace yourself because you're standing a very, very, very good chance of getting four more years of Donald Trump and war and pestilence and hate and bigotry and racism and all the rest of that shit. And that's it right there. TC. And I'm out.